They say art is in the eye of the beholder, but when it comes to contemporary art, oftentimes our words can elicit confusion and bewilderment. In our next story, we head to a village outside of Beijing to visit an artist who mixes fictional figures with non-fictional concepts. Are you puzzled yet? I know I am. But don't you worry, our reporter Lin Lin explores his thoughts and helps us decipher. Beigoutun. A village of about 140 households recently opened its first art museum. And one piece of art in particular has everyone talking. And their bewilderment has everything to do with one man. I met Wenling on a crisp winter's afternoon in Beigoutun. He showed me his latest work, a massive painting on display in the center of the village square. It's an excerpt from a series of comic books that Wenling had been working on over the past few years. The vibrant piece noticeably stands out from everything else around it, adding a playful touch to the village, but also stirring up a combination of curiosity and confusion. Uh, Kando 那么一个作品，它肯定有很多个层次，所以我觉得，嗯，老奶奶看到一些颜色，看到小猫咪，看到他们在吃肉，嗯，已经在接收一些信息了。然后后面还会发生什么？我觉得，呃，是我不能控制
喜好、啊，所以我父亲看了以后觉得我的作品觉得啊还挺好玩的，但是他经常会问一个问题：你画它是为了干嘛用啊？ The fundamental difference in their perception towards art is generational and economical. It's reflective of China's societal changes. I think that as China becomes more stable and more prosperous, it can permit a part of the so-called "unprotected" young men to do some unprotected things. This is something that was not possible in my father's time. They were working to make a living. 把大块的时间用来画一些个人兴趣的东西，而没有收入的话是不太现实的。Wen Ling enjoys exploring new boundaries in his artistic creations, from the use of heavy construction equipment in his production process to his experiments with the scale of his work. Wen Ling always looks for new ways to present his comics. 我觉得漫画呢。它的一个观看的边界，很多人觉得应该是低着头阅读一个漫画，那么仰着头，啊，就是看一个漫画，也是对大家的阅读习惯的一个小小挑战。<笑>我觉得这也是让我兴奋的地方。Before our time at Beigou Tun came to an end, Wen Ling took me on a tour to the village's newly opened art museum. Here, there are many other puzzling pieces of artwork created by Wen Ling's contemporaries. With his guidance and insights, I managed to see more layers to the artwork in front of me. Now, going back to Wen Ling's comic in the village square. I have to admit that my first reactions were the same as the villagers. I don't get it, but after getting to know Wen Ling, the comic took on a completely different meaning. It's his childhood, attitude towards art, life experiences, thought experiments, and much more. Like he said, it's layered and complex. It's a man's history on canvas. When I asked Wen Ling about his art's purpose, he said he wants to permeate his work into the day-to-day -day lives of his audiences. And in the case of Bei Guozun, I think he has successfully done so. Whether they understand it or not, the villagers got their first taste of contemporary art. Ling Lin, CGTN.